Okay, here's our third math type lesson, which is about formatting equations um, and using the various styles in math type. Um, so first thing I want to do is show you the difference between the math style and the text style. A lot of the times this is what drives people crazy if they're not used to using math type and they don't understand the style menus. So I'm going to go ahead and open a new equation, control E, and let me just type in some stuff here. And you notice that when I type in um, variables, um, all of the variables come in italicized. It puts nice spacing here between the plus sign and the uh, math text. Um, and the numbers are not italicized. And that's just the way you see them in math textbooks. It's standard formatting for all variables to be italicized. So this right now is in a math style. And you can see that at the bottom of the screen here. Style, math. And while you're in math style, there is no space bar. And so when you try to you press the space button, nothing happens. Again, you can get away from that. If I want more space here, for example, I can type control space a couple times and get myself more space. But it's not really necessary because within the math style, it tries to put in the correct spacing for you. In other words, it tries to anticipate your needs. What I'm going to show you now is what happens if I leave the math style. And I'm going to do that by going up to style, text. And now this is going to be just like when you write in Word. And so now if I do x squared plus 3x plus b minus c, uh, notice actually we d when I did the square, sorry, it switched right back into math style. You see it down here. Um, but I'm going to actually just highlight this and switch it over to text. And you see that as text, it doesn't put in all of that nice spacing and it does not italicize variables. I accidentally threw it back into math when I put in that um, exponent in there. So it, will, it, it does try to anticipate your needs and as you start to retype in math, it puts you back in math style. You can always highlight anything that you have and just switch the style to math or to text. So like if I look at this and go, oh, this looks horrible, I want this back as, as math text, I can go up to style math and it puts it back there. Now the only thing it didn't catch is that minus sign. So I'm actually going to make sure I'm in the math style and retype that minus sign and it gives me the nice larger minus sign that we usually see in math text. Um, but if I want to you know, put in some text after this, if I want to put in units or I want to describe what I just did, I can say, for example, use the commutative property or something like that um, and hit enter. And so you see that part of this is now in a math style and this part over here is in a text style and you can mix and match. So as long as you're aware of that, you can change it at, at your whim. Um, during a, a problem. And so often, like when I get to units, I switch it over to a text style. Now one of the things that's kind of cool is that if you notice here, there are hotkeys next to um, these styles as well. So you can change those hotkeys to whatever you'd like. If you know you switch back and forth all the time, um, you can do that. Or you can just choose them off the menu, which is pretty easy because you don't do this all that often. Um, so that is the first little lesson in here, which is math style versus text style. The second thing I want to show you is how to align equations at equal signs, because this is something we use all the time in math. So if I'm going to put in an equation and I want to solve the equation x squared plus um, 3x minus 4 equals 0. And so I want to factor that x plus 4, x minus 1. Notice I'm using resizing parentheses, which was just the control 9 button. And then I want to, um, at, let's, let's just say at this point, I want to align my equal signs. So that's up in the format menu. And you have some options here. Right now it's aligned to the left. You can also align at the center, which just centers both equations. You can align at the right, which puts them both on the right. That also, in this case, aligns the equal signs. But you can see if I add more text here, it throws them off. So if I want to make sure that I'm always aligned at the equal signs, I can align at equals. You can also align at a period, although I don't think I've ever used that, but maybe there's some reason, maybe if you're doing a column of addition with decimals. Um, now if I close this, what you're going to see is that it centers it, not at the top line, but in the center of this. And maybe you don't want that. Maybe you want the first equation to be on the top. Like for example, if I uh, move this down a line and I'm saying solve, and I want this top line to align with this word solve. So I'm going to open it up and notice that my the next set of formatting options is align at top, align at center, align at bottom. And So I'm going to choose align at top and close this back up 
and now you see that it aligns differently so that the first line aligns with the solve. The reason that these don't look the same size is because I've got my text right now in a size 20 so that you can see it easier. So let's say I want to change this um, to a, a new size. I want this to be 20 as well. I'm going to highlight all the text I have in here and say size define. I really wouldn't mess with these things because they set how subscripts relate to full scripts and things like that. But I'm going to reset my size to define it also as a size 20 point. Oops. And so when I do that, now I don't really want that to be used for all of my equations since I'm just demonstrating this right now. If you leave this checked, it will automatically start using 20 size font for every equation you put in. So I'm going to uncheck that right now and hit OK. And you'll notice that it got a lot bigger on the screen. And now when I go back out into here, it's the same size as the text over here. So that's pretty useful. Um, the other thing I want to show you is that without resizing it, you can actually make them bigger when you see them on the screen. So if you are making a video using MathType and you want um, more size in your equations, let me just open up a new equation here. And you want to go up to this View menu, and Zoom is what you want. And right now I have this set to show you the equations at 400% because I want them to be really visible on the screen. But you can set them for the size you want, yet you're actually going to see them on the screen. So 100%, 200%, 800%. If you want to show something really big, you know, here's two thirds plus um, four ninths and 800%. Um, and so when I close that, it's not going to be that big. It's just going to be in that 12 point font that I like to default to. But when we reopen it, it's in that 800%. And if, if that's too big, probably that's too big. 400% seems to be a nice size for students to be able to see the, um, the screen easily in these problems. So I'd recommend that. So, um, you know, play around with these different alignments and zooms, and that is the end of Lesson 3.